make sure you're running arms out onto that ball. The under-15 girls team at Wyndham College training today. Most watched the England game on Saturday and were delighted with a win against the mighty All Blacks. Um, really happy because obviously All Blacks are a hard team. I thought they played really, really well. It, I honestly wasn't expecting it, but I was very, very surprised. Do you have a particular favourite player? Ben Youngs. The England scrum half who started his career with Holt Rugby Club in Norfolk scored a brilliant try in Saturday's semi-final, only for the television match official to rule it out. Come on, boys! Free ball, free ball! At Holt, they watched the match on big screens with Stuart Penny Chapman cheering England on. Today, Penny was tidying up in the clubhouse and struggling to speak. What's wrong with your voice? <laughs> Just did a little bit of shouting on Saturday. <laughs> so, Got a bit carried away? Uh, maybe, maybe. Yeah! What was the atmosphere like? Oh, just unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. We were buzzing here. And what did you make of Ben's performance? Very good indeed. Uh, very, very accomplished. He did just the right things at the right time and a very good link between the scrum and the three quarters all the time. What a time to be an England rugby player. What a time to be an England rugby fan. They are incredibly proud of Ben at Holt. His father, Nick, and brother Tom also played for England. Of course, you know, you, you obviously get bombarded messages, but for me the, the best one obviously was, was having my dad in the stands to watch it, uh, which is great. Um, and like Eddie just mentioned, now the team is just very, very excited about uh, the opportunity that lies this week. So, um, you know, we'll build and uh, do what we, we always do, approaching a test match, and this week we know different. Back at Wyndham College, they know the value of having role models like Ben Youngs, Owen Farrell and Maro Itoji. Uh, the previous World Cup win acted as a legacy for many of these boys, perhaps push them into their local rugby clubs and to take part in school and hopefully it will kick on and we'll have more students interested in rugby and in sport as a, as a whole. OK, crouch. So it's South Africa Fine. in the final. Set. England start as favourites and who knows. Well, Johnny nine. Wilkinson and co yeah. won it in 2003, so it's been a while. But perhaps England can do it again on Saturday. Mike Liggins, BBC Look East, Norfolk. Uh.